The AGR system in modern vehicles is primarily used as an emissions control. Its purpose is to recirculate a portion of exhaust gases back into the engine, helping reduce harmful vehicle emissions. But it's not without its downsides. At the end of the video, I'll give you three top tips for avoiding these issues. Let's take a step back. Motor vehicles are a major source of pollution, and emissions increase the more densely populated or industrial your area is. Over the years, vehicle emission limits have become much stricter, especially concerning nitrogen oxides, NOx, which are formed during high temperature combustion in the presence of excess oxygen. To reduce nitrogen oxides, exhaust gases are added back into the fuel-air mixture. This dilutes the mixture with inert gases that don't combust. Essentially, it lowers the amount of oxygen and slows down the combustion process. It's like starving a flame of oxygen. The flame dwindles and doesn't burn as vigorously. Exhaust gases also absorb heat, which lowers peak combustion temperatures and further reduces NOx production. This process is known as exhaust gas recirculation, or EGR. Beyond reducing emissions, EGR comes with some downsides, especially in diesel engines. Carbon deposits can form in the EGR valve, intake manifold, and combustion chamber. This buildup chokes your engine, causing rough idling, poor fuel economy, and a noticeable loss of power. There are two types of EGR systems, internal and external. Internal EGR doesn't require additional parts. It uses variable valve timing or special cam profiles to reintroduce exhaust gases during valve overlap. External EGR uses a separate EGR valve to control the flow of exhaust gases through a dedicated passage back into the intake manifold. Petrol engines can recirculate up to 20% of exhaust gases, while diesel engines typically recirculate a bit more. The algorithm managing this process is designed to minimize performance loss. EGR is usually active at low and medium engine loads and shuts off under full throttle. For this reason, longer drives are better for overall engine health compared to frequent short trips, which is why some vehicles clog up more than others. On petrol engines, the EGR system is inactive during engine warm-up and idle. On diesel engines, it may remain active. External EGR systems vary. They may be pneumatically or electronically controlled and can include position sensors, coolers, or throttle valves to manage flow and temperature more precisely. Now, here are the three top tips I mentioned earlier. Regularly drive at higher RPMs helps burn off carbon deposits, especially on diesel engines with EGR and DPF systems. Install an oil catch can traps oily vapors before they enter the intake, reducing carbon buildup on intake valves and EGR pathways. Consider an EGR delete, off-road use only, eliminates recirculated exhaust gases, preventing soot from entering the intake. But be aware of legal and warranty implications. Link in the description for more on this.